Hello there, and welcome to the Conscious Coping Club. I'm Lori Sharpage, and I'm bringing my experience as a psychotherapist, my baggage human, and my hunch that learning how to cope will be a lot more fun when we do it together. On this week's episode, we're exploring the coping skill of breath work. So get ready to invest in your mental health right here on the Conscious Coping Club, where we cope better together. Now we're going to talk about a potentially effective coping skill for you to utilize with anxiety, and that's breath work. Breath work in its essence is the conscious control of your breathing. It's an umbrella term for various techniques that encourage you to consciously adjust your breathing patterns. When we're anxious or stressed, our breathing often becomes shallow, rapid, and focused in the upper part of our chest, sounding a lot of times like this. <sighs> this kind of breathing can perpetuate feelings of anxiety by keeping us in a heightened state of stress. Breath work helps to interrupt the cycle by returning our breath to a more calm, deep rhythm centered instead of in our chest, in our belly. Breath work is like a bridge, a conduit between our body and mind. By consciously regulating our breath, we send a message to our brain. It's safe. We're okay. We can relax. And it may seem silly, but our brain really needs that message sometimes. And the beauty of breath work is that it is always accessible, a tool in our pocket that can be pulled out at any time, without anyone else really ever knowing. Now we're gonna demonstrate a simple technique you can start with, the four, seven, eight method. I'm gonna explain it and then I'll take a moment to actually show you what it looks like. When we do the four, seven, eight method, we breathe in for four seconds, we hold it for seven seconds, and we exhale for eight seconds. You can repeat the cycle for a few minutes and you will likely notice a sense of calm washing over you. Let me now take a moment to demonstrate this. Keep in mind that usually, even if we're not anxious, most of our breath is in our chest. We tend to take very shallow breaths. If you take a breath and you just feel your chest move out, you know you're not using your whole lungs and we wanna redirect that. When we take a deep breath, we really wanna feel it in our belly and a way that we can tell that that is happening is put your hand on your belly and if your belly expands, you're taking a deep breath. See how different that is? All right. You can really use any numbers that come up for you. Just make sure that it is long enough. We don't want shallow, short breaths. We want deep, full of breaths. What's really, really important is that our exhale is longer than our inhale. And the reason why is because that helps, again, our body to know that we are safe and that we can shift out of fight or flight and back into a mindful, balanced state. So let me show you what this looks like. Put my hand on my belly. I'm going to take that deep breath in for four. I'm going to hold for seven. And then I'm going to exhale very slowly for eight. Now, one thing I like to do to make sure that that exhale is longer than the inhale is to put my lips as if I were whistling. Now, fun fact about me, I can't whistle. One of the few things I can't do in life, I can't whistle. So if you're looking at this saying, that's not how you whistle, just know that it's because I just don't know. <laughs> so one of the things when we do that is it really helps to control the exhale. We can control it. So I really encourage you to go like that. Do that a few times and see if you can get yourself into a more rhythm state. If you are very anxious, it will take some time. And that is nothing against you. That is just your system needs some time to calm down. Keep with it. I want to remind you, though, that breath work isn't about forcing or struggling. It's about gently guiding your breath. If you ever feel lightheaded or uncomfortable, return to your natural breath. And as always, feel free to make adjustments to any technique to make it feel more comfortable or accessible for you. So go ahead and try out some breath work. I hope it serves you as a valuable tool for your navigation through the natural and normal ebbs and flows of life. Take care of yourself. And remember, your breath is a powerful ally. That's all for this episode of the Conscious Coping Club. Join me in this journey at ConsciousCoping.club where we navigate the labyrinth of life together with intention, courage, and a sense of discovery. Make sure to like and follow for more great coping content. And until next time, don't just cope, consciously cope. Mm -hmm.